we talked about this earlier, but technology continues to reshape the world we live in, connecting us together like never before. And that goes the same for modern dating, meeting a person with the swipe of a finger. But with so many dating apps on the market, how do you choose the right one? Here now to break down the differences between the swipes is Fox 45 producer Matt Herman. Thank you so much. I know it's a little bright and early for you, <laughs> about an hour earlier than you're normally here, but yeah. we appreciate you coming hey, in. Happy to roll on in. So this is something that you and I were kind of talking about because, yeah. you know, I've been with my husband, like I said, for almost 13 years. I would have no idea how to date in this yeah. world. Well, this isn't to say that traditional meeting people in person is dead. Please go out and meet people. Um, but as Stephen Hawking said, intelligence is the ability to change mm -hmm. and the world is changing it and is. so now that with technology we have more opportunities to meet people maybe you're at work all the time or other situations where you can't meet the people that you need to be meeting so hey they're on your phone now so when we talk about what's on your phone the first app tinder that's the first yeah. one that comes to my mind this is the one that started the whole craze right here people are very familiar with tinder it's a pretty simple concept you have profiles of people near you, swipe right if you like them, swipe left if you don't, and then if you match, that's when either one of you can begin messaging. So this is kind of one that I think a lot of people use. Um, it's the most popular app, right? Right, which is good because love is sometimes a numbers game, mm. so if you're trying to find someone, might why not try the most popular one? You're right. Well, what about Bumble? I've heard of this one as well. Yeah, Bumble's cool. It's very similar to Tinder, except there's one major difference. When you match, only the woman can message you. Oh, okay. So it's not like then the, you get you know away from those creepy guys, right? Right. It, that's that's the whole point. It reduces <laughs> creepy guys, and because you know because that's a real term. Yeah. Let's by face the it. There's creepy guys out there. There is. And no woman wants to be bombarded with harassing messages or right. inappropriate messages. So this allows her to choose who she wants to talk to first to kind of eliminate the pool of creepy guys. Which is great because this app really puts the female in control of the dating life. Right. So that's awesome. Now there's another one. What is this one coming up? Is it Grindr? Uh, this her? is Grindr and Her. These are two okay. different apps. These are LGBTQ apps. Okay. Grindr, men searching for men. Her, women searching for women. Got it. And so similar, same concept as Tinder. Similar to Tinder. And then what was the next app? This one's uh, the hopeless romantic of them all. This one's called Happen, mm -hmm. which is it's kind of cool. It's um. I've heard. I just heard about this one. Yeah. Actually. It's so it it. It finds people who you come into contact like physically. So if you're walking and you pass someone and they happen oh, to have happen, got it. then you guys can see that you passed each other. And if you both like each other, then you can open up a dialogue. Uh, but there's a couple things about this one. You always have to have your location services on for it mm. to work, which in turn drains your battery. So you might be charging your phone more throughout the day, but hey, maybe it's worth it to find that special someone. And so it's probably better in big cities where there's, again, more people. And so last but not least is Match.com. Now, we've yeah. heard a lot about Match. Match was launched in 1995, so they have a lot of experience behind them. And they use algorithms to try to match people. And over the last few decades, they've been able to kind of use their data to perfect these algorithms. So um, it's pretty good. Uh, it, mostly for people looking for long-term relationships are on Match. So mm -hmm. that's your thing, then you might want to try this one. Um, it's not free though. It's not free. No, it is not free. You're, you're paying for those algorithms. Well, the big question I guess is, does it work? Do oh, it work? works. Yeah, they have they have decades of married happy people. No, I'm talking about all the apps in general because oh, I know yeah. you use them. That's why yeah, we had you come in and break them down. A lot of people down. think that like it's for short term stuff mm -hmm. or it, it, it's not like meeting people in, in real life. But here's the thing. Once you meet them on your app, you meet them in real life. So it all starts the way it's been going for thousands of years, you know. Well, we appreciate you coming in, Matt, and uh, breaking it all down for us because I know for me, myself and I, I had no clues.